the design process of the Universal Aero Kit, IndyCar worked together with longtime partner BSI, or Broadcast Sports International, to come up with some new cutting edge camera angles. And one that has attracted a lot of attention is the nose cam. It fits here inside the nose cap. It was almost a six month engineering and development process, part of which to keep this cutaway as small as possible so it didn't affect the aesthetics. It's a fully high definition camera. It has remote control and a motorized iris. It has a tape clear system, but this whole unit weighs just under 11 ounces. Now, yes, if you're a team not running a camera, you are required to run that same 11 ounces of ballast in the nose cap, so it's not a performance advantage. This is wired into the actual camera system itself, but there is a quick disconnect at the nose in case it has to be changed during a pit stop. Now the mirror camera angle is not new, but the mirror camera is. It's actually a three month design process to try and take this camera, get it into the new mirrors without affecting the housing whatsoever. It only weighs about eight ounces, but yes, a team that's not running a camera has to run about eight ounces of ballast. Now up on top of the roll hoop, the 360 degree view camera is retained as one of the primary cameras. The final new look for 2018 is the attenuator camera. The attenuator, of course, being the crushable structure here at the back of the car. Now there's a cutaway for a new camera. Similar to the nose cam, it has a motorized iris, it has a tape clear system, but you can tell by the shape, this one has the ability to pan. So if you end up with a frame full of a nose, you can actually pan the camera left or right to get some clear screen. Now one of the questions that BSI gets all the time is, there's $125,000 worth of camera equipment on this car. They've invested 450 grand just in developing these new cameras. Who pays for them when they get smashed? Well, they say, no, that's fully on us. That is not the responsibility of the teams. And they say, interestingly, in most cases, this equipment is repairable.